Good afternoon, if you can uh, consider this a good afternoon. It's uh, 16.03 uh, East Coast time in Burlington. A lot of people have died today. A lot of people have been injured today. I appreciate uh, everyone's extremely hard work today. And what we need now are, are hard workers, cool heads, proactive thinkers to make sure that uh, we do this to the best of our ability. It was an interesting time because, you know, we were just coming back from training missions that morning, um, you know, and we were, we were actually preparing to launch, you know, uh, a deployment to Hawaii later on that week. When those airplanes were hijacked um, and then became weapons of mass destruction, um, it, was, it was chaos, quite frankly. What? The uh, building collapsed, part of the building collapsed. We knew that, I guess intuition-wise, that, that we could not allow any more of those to, to hit the World Trade Center or the Pentagon or crash in a field in, in Pennsylvania. So, you know, we just kept, kept working through it, you know, get the guns hot, get, get AIM, AIM 9s on them, get AIM 120s on them. From that point in time, the Northeast Air Defense Sector was, was trying to figure out what their battle rhythm was going to look like, and we were going, we're ready to go. When the call came and when we saw what needed to get done, you know, I, I think we did, we did a, a fantastic job doing that mission. Your, your life can change in 77 minutes. That's the time from, you know, the first airplane being crashed to the World Trade Center till the time that uh, the flight went down in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. 77 minutes. My, my thoughts are, you got to be prepared for that, you got to be thinking about that, and you have to um, be ready to, to take the fight uh, wherever it needs to go.